5 Facts About Wristwatches A wristwatch is one of the most widely used timekeeping devices. Today's watches not only serve as a timepiece or as a fashion accessory, but they can also serve to make phone calls and to pay. Hans Wilsdorf, the founder of Rolex is considered to be the person who popularized the wristwatch. In 1926, Rolex created the world's first waterproof wristwatch with the launch of the Rolex Oyster. Prior to this, wristwatches, which were relatively new to the market, were rather sensitive both to water and dust. The world's first GMT wristwatch, a watch able to display two time zones simultaneously was released in 1953. The first GMT watch was the Gleisian Airman. The word watch comes from the Old English wa eki, which meant to keep an eye on and be awake. The first wristwatches were worn by women. They were worn as a fashion accessory rather than to keep track of time. They were marketed as bracelets for women. Men were more likely to use a pocket watch to tell the time. During World War I, wristwatches became more and more popular as soldiers started to wear them instead of a pocket watch. During the heat of battle and to start attacks exactly on time, it was easier to have a quick look at the wrist than to dig out a pocket watch. New analog watches are displayed in the shops with the hands on 10 minutes past 10 o'clock or 10 minutes to 2 o'clock. It looks like they are smiling at you. Watches are also set on 10 after 10, or 10 before 2, for the following reasons. The hands do not overlap. The logo or brand is usually in the middle of the dial. By setting the hands at 10 after 10, or 10 before 2, the logo is perfectly visible. In the past, some brands had their hands at 820. It turned out that this gave the dial a sad face. Watch straps and faces are very versatile and open for innovation. They can also be made up of many diverse materials. Wood, bamboo, and recycled ocean plastic are some of the more sustainable options, while rubber, leather, woven fabrics and metal are more traditional. The most expensive watch ever sold at auction is American actor Paul Newman's Rolex which was sold for $17.8 million. At the time of its sale it broke world records. Various functionalities on watches such as water resistance, moon phase and date display are known as complications in the watch community. Watches can have multiple complications such as divers watches, or pilot watches however dress watches have little or no complications other than simply telling the time. Most complicated watch ever created has 2,826 components, 57 complications and 242 jewels. It also has 33 hands. The price was $10 million. If not run digitally, watches tell time either by quartz crystal or mechanical gears. Quartz watches are more cheaper and precise. The Omega Speedmaster was the official watch of NASA's Apollo missions and the first watch on the moon. The French jeweler Cartier is known for their stunning watches for both men and women. In fact, Cartier was the preferred watch of many of the most influential women of the 20th century, including Princess Diana and Jackie Kennedy. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.